Hi guys, it's Amy with a to Z stamping.com and today I'm going to be showing you this um, simple card using the carousel birthday stamp set. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to stamp this big Ferris wheel and I want to stamp the sentiment I love when your birthday comes around. This one also comes with a carousel and um, this tent, like a circus tent, this little swirly, and then this one says because spoiling you is so much fun. Okay, but we're going to stamp this big um, Ferris wheel. Okay, so first I'm going to take my early espresso ink, open that, okay, and I'm going to take this big Ferris wheel here. It's pretty big, so I'm using my e-block, and I'm going to ink this up. Like I said, this is a pretty big stamp, so I want to make sure it's all inked up, all right? Now, this piece of very vanilla cardstock is cut at three inches by three inches. So I want to line it up here as best I can and get it right there. And give it a good press so I get all full coverage. Oh, and see, I'm too high. But you know what's nice is all pieces of paper have two sides. So. I'm going to flip this over, and we're going to try that again. All right. So I'm going to ink it up again. If it doesn't work this time, well, then we'll just have to get another piece of paper. All right, and I'm going to line it up and go straight down. Press. Oh, you know what? It looks like I'm going to be too high again. I am. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Since I'm having issues with that, and it's not the first time I have issues like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock. So let me grab that out real quick. Sometimes it happens. You can try to measure your pieces first, but it's not always the easiest way to go. So I'm going to take a piece of very vanilla cardstock. Here we go. And this time, I'm going to ink it up. That's what I get for trying to do it right where it barely is going to fit. All right, and I'm just gonna stamp it on here. And this time I know it's gonna fit. Perfect. Let me grab my stamp and scrub, clean my stamp off, and now I can put my stamp away. All right, now what I'm going to do, let me stamp this guy real quick. I have another piece of very vanilla here cut at seven eighths inches by two and five eighths. And I'm going to stamp this. I love when your birthday comes around. Let's see if I can get this to work. I might not be able to. Most of the time, I don't cut my pieces first. I stamp first and then cut. But, you know, for video timing, I try to hurry things up, and that's what I get. So let's see if I can get this right on here. Press. Oh, and it's crooked. So let's try again this way. And let's try it. I'll, like I said, I'll try the other side, but then if that doesn't work... One, two, three. I love when your birthday comes around. Does that look crooked? It looks crooked to me. So you know what we're gonna do? Stamp it onto here. Actually, I'm gonna stamp it down here so I have lots of room to work. Oh, Amy, seriously, what are you doing? Okay. Perfect. Doesn't matter if it's crooked, because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do now. Let me clean this stamp off. Set that aside. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, don't need that anymore, don't need that. I'm gonna close my ink before I ink my hands all up. Put it away. My... I am going to now grab out my stamp and trimmer and I'm gonna cut these exactly where I want them. So, I wanted this piece to be three by three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim the bottom about as close, let's see, and let's make it straight. So I can line it up here with my trimmer and I'm going to cut this bottom piece okay now I'm going to turn this one and let's go pretty close to the edge okay now I want it to be three I want it to be uh, three by three so I'm just gonna line up right here at the three inches Does it look like it's gonna cut it off a little it looks like it might so I'm gonna go like this there, perfect, and I'll trim it at the bottom. And let's make this one three inches. Perfect, and now I can trim up down here again. Line it up at three inches. There we go, and now, perfect. Okay, so there's that piece, 
and I'm going to take my saying here and I want this at 7 8 by 2 and 5 8 so I am going to line it up let's see there we go all right so let's trim that okay so I wanted this one at 7 8 so we're gonna go right there And two and five eighths, right there. No, that's not two and five eighths. What am I doing? Two and five eighths, be right there. And that's perfect. All right, so see, when you can't get your stamping right, you just turn it down. Okay, so let me get rid of all these scraps. All right, now we can put our card together. Move all this out of my way. All right, so first thing we're going to start with is I have a base here. This is um, the brand new thick, very vanilla cardstock that comes out on June 1st. Um, right now, if you want to make this card, you can just use regular very vanilla cardstock. It really doesn't matter. This is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm going to grab my trimmer again. And this time, I'm going to score it. Remember, your trimmer comes with a cutting blade. And a scoring blade and I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter all right I'm gonna fold it in take my bone folder give it a nice crease okay now I'm going to take this piece of so saffron cardstock this is cut at five and a quarter by four and I'm gonna use my snail adhesive and I'm going to glue this down just on the card front So, okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I have two pieces of designer series paper from the Cupcakes and Carousel designer series paper. And let me show you that real quick. This designer series paper is on the discontinued list, um, but it is available while supplies last. It's called Cupcakes and Carousel, and you get 48 sheets of 6x6 six six paper. This paper is really fun. Um, you see there's all different designs there. They're all double-sided. Um, I like this one with the carousel. It's really pretty. And let me show you the other. So this has colors like um, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Early Espresso. That's the ink pad color we use. And there's Peekaboo Peach, some So Saffron. That's this one. And then the Very Vanilla. So this is available while supplies last, but um, I love this paper, especially if you like um, carousels. Um, this paper right here is really fun. It's like the side of a Ferris wheel, and that comes in all the different shades as well, so it's kind of cool. All right, so I have two pieces um, from the Designer Series paper. They're each cut at four and a quarter by three, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick some adhesive on the back of each of these. Yeah, you see the back side of this one is the carousels. Um, that's really pretty. Okay, and I'm going to stick this one up at the top here. And this one, I'm going to do the same thing, but at the bottom, but I want it this way. And you see this one is Little Cupcakes, and it matches our Ferris wheel. These designer series paper sheets that I went with just have the Early Espresso, the Bermuda Bay, and the So Saffron. Okay, with the Very Vanilla. Okay, we stuck those on. Okay, now I'm going to take these pieces of early espresso cardstock. This one is cut at three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And this one right here is cut at one and, and one and two and three quarters. And I'm gonna mount these on there. All right, so let's give this some adhesive. Let's give this some adhesive. Okay, and this is just gonna go right in the center. Okay. And this one right here. Okay, it looks like I cut this one a little bit. This, my cutting was a little bit off. It's not my cutting. I think um, I can't read my own writing. So my measurements are a little bit off. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna cut a little bit off each side. Just to shorten that up a bit. 
and I'm going to cut a little bit off the bottom. If you, if it will drive you crazy that it's not perfectly straight, I don't totally recommend cutting with scissors, but our paper snips are pretty easy to use. So, okay, that should be better. There we go. So, okay, it would help if I could glue it on straight. So our brown piece, again, our early espresso cardstock was cut at one by two and three quarters. So this should have been um, just a, a quarter smaller um, all around. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to take my Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm gonna stick these on the back. So I'm gonna put, let's see, one, two on this one. And let's go with one, two, three, four and five on this one. Peel these off. One, two, one, two, three. These are not hard to peel off at all. I'm just adjusting to shorter fingernails. I had to trim them down and I have to get used to life without longer fingernails. Well, it won't take too long for them to grow back. All right. So now I'm going to stick this on right in the center and see the dimensionals just kind of pop it up a little bit. So press that one on and this one. All right, now just to add a little more, I'm going to add some sequins. And I'm going to stick those on with glue dots. Now these sequins come from the Cupcakes and Carousel Embellishment Pack. And this is available only while supplies last, but I want to show you what you get with that pack. So you get these really fun um, labels that are cut out. Uh, that look, there's a bunch of those in there. I'm not even sure um, how many are in here. One, two, so three, four, five, looks like maybe six. So those have the gold, fo gold foil. It comes with these tassels. So these are very vanilla tassels comes with the pack of um, sequins. So these have like the iridescent ones and the gold ones. It comes with these super cute um, bows in the soft sky um, with the glue dots to stick them down. And then it also comes with some Calypso coral ribbon and then some soft sky and some so saffron um, baker's twine. And they have, can you see that? It's got like gold in it. So you get all of this um, in a set and it's called the it's called the cupcakes and carousel embellishment pack again definitely pick this one up if you especially if you're getting this paper um, because all of it coordinates perfectly with this and you could use this with anything you don't have to use it just with the carousel birthday stamp set you could use it with many different things so again I'm using the sequins and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some glue dots here and I'm going to Try not to glue my hands together. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I take a sequin and I stick it on, Let's see if I can do this. And then on, I'm gonna stick them all on my cupcake, or on, yeah, on the little basket part. Now you can technically use the up and away thinlet dies with this stamp. Um, it'll cut out the little cup or actually the baskets. What it'll do is it'll cut you out baskets. And I've seen some really cute projects where people do that. They cut the baskets out in a different color and then they use dimensionals to um, pop them up on there. So that's kind of fun uh, to do. But I'm just using the, I'm just doing this. Let's see. Okay. And let's get these all on here. I was trying to do it earlier using a bone folder, but I just found it was easier just to use my fingers. And yes, I did lose a few on the floor. That's why you want to have a few extra. There we go. Okay, and that just added a little bit of sparkle. I thought this would be good though. Um, I have to do a lot of boy cards and I thought, well, this could totally work for that. So there you go. And here's one I made earlier. So now you can see this. Can you see the sparkle there? Yeah, see the sequence had some sparkle. So there you go. There's two cards that I made with the Carousel Birthday Stamp Set. Anyway, visit me on a to z stamping.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks, guys. Bye.